Now on to a follow-up to a story we brought you a year ago about a military member who co-founded a spice company called Rumi Spice after serving in Afghanistan. Joining us now is Keith Alanez. Great to see you. Well, thanks for having me on the show again. A year or so ago, you were coming off your Shark Tank win with backing from billionaire Mark Cuban. What's the latest with your company? Yeah, so Rumi Spice started as a social enterprise. I was serving in Afghanistan and I met some of our first farmers. They were growing this incredible saffron. So me and my partners thought, well, this is an opportunity to connect farmers directly with Western markets and provide a higher value for their products. And if we could do that, we could cultivate peace by providing incentive for more production in Afghanistan, which will create more employment and more stability. Since the last time we were on, we've increased our sales by 100%. Um, we're actually the largest importer of saffron and any agriculture product in Afghanistan, and we're the largest foreign direct investment in Afghanistan agriculture. Uh, saffron from Afghanistan has been growing over 700% year over year since 2014 when we started. And we're very excited to announce that next year we're, we're going to be moving from just a saffron company to a spices as a force for good company. And we're bringing out uh, Afghanistan wild cumin, which is a first of its kind product. Uh, we're going to sell them here in U.S. stores and retail and online on our website. What stores have picked up your product so far? What we're really excited about is that we launched nationwide in Whole Foods um, in uh, November. So we're in all 453 Whole Foods stores across the country. It's the first product from Afghanistan to ever be nationally distributed in the U.S. Thank you for the update and thank you for serving our country. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow and share Business First AM.